What is going on, everybody? Jumbo Thick here. We are back with more Emberfell Whispers from the Stars, our D&D 5th edition campaign. I have, of course, your GM, your DM for the night, Jumbo Thick, joined by what was supposed to be the full casting crew, but we've got the majority of us here. So hopefully um, our lovable Dan will make it, Resire. But if not, I guess I will be reprising Resire for the night. So we will uh, see how this works out. Um... Let's do some brief introductions, stalling for time for Dan. Uh, let's start with uh, with Alan, the dube. Hello, everybody. This is Tristan Farrell, a wizard, level 18. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm glad, I'm glad I caught you while you were eating. I had no idea you were chewing on something. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, man. Uh, let's shuffle on down to... Uh... The old Jumbo Smooth. Hello, everyone. I am Jumbo Smooth. I play um, Rogar, son of Amu. Um, he's a level 18 barbarian as well. Uh, he, he recently got a new sword, a uh, greater silver sword. He has some psychic resistances, and uh, he is now attuned psychically, along with his trusty uh, uh, ring of intellect. He's, uh, more, he's more intelligent now and uh, can communicate people over great distances for a long time. I haven't done that yet, but uh, soon I'll, I'll create a bond with someone. And a bond. A strong bond. And mm. we, will, uh, we will talk and share our most deepest thoughts with each other. Sounds um, um, intimate. Interesting. Yeah, intimate. Yes. We'll say that. Intimate, sure. Uh, let's slide on over to the cat in the room, Kayla. Hello, I play Bellary, the superior barbarian, Dan Pierre. <laughs> it is a great day. It's a great day. All right. Uh, last but not least, Andrea. Hi, I'm playing Zoon, a formerly Drow bard, now also Dan Pierre. Mm. Not the OG, but. Not the OG, but pretty close. Pretty know. good. Um, yeah, looking forward to everything kind of falling apart. Um, no. Still, I'm still riding the high of Rogar's dad giving him approval. Mm. That was. I'm still. I'm still all about that. That was so sweet. So sweet indeed. The only character from the very beginning who made it to the end of his quest. Oh. It's, it's beautiful. It's funny that you think that's the end. Uh, speaking of which, last we left off. The um, crew here has found themselves within the ancient city of Lang, a place or somewhat beyond the scope of time and reality, as it uh, so seems. Obviously built and um, forged by what appears to be eldritch entities unknown abominations from beyond the stars or planes of existence the closest kin that you can think of being the illithid individuals or mind flayers as we know them deep within this city lies your ultimate goal which appear to be a vessel of some kind quite literally as you made your way through the tumultuous city with its um lackadaisical ways of interacting with the rules of modern reality as to both time and space have become in fluctuation as well as gravity it seems you found your way to the central monolithic spire at the center of the city um, in what appeared to be almost a foot race with Kezon Thunderstrike and his entourage as you were making your way to the actual vessel, which appears to be the central goal for Kezon as well, a guardian appeared, a gargantuan white dragon of colossal nature that Rogar recognized as his long lost father, figure at least, Amu. As you squared off with the creature. It um, appeared to have uh, killed Kezon, ripping him in half after destroying his entourage. 
which was assaulted by the Neolithic parasites, the gargantuan um, abominations that once were Illithid tadpoles. And um, you ended up being forced into a fight to the death with Amu, as well as the large parasitic forms. One in which um, you desperately fought against, ultimately destroying the large uh, Neolithids before, I believe it was Triss, delivered the final blow to Amu, disintegrating a vast section of his carcass. As he was falling dead, his mind drifted towards Rogar, and he told him he was proud of him before he passed. And that's where we're picking up. As Amu's body begins to writhe from the inside, as the tentacles that were once kind of seeping out the top of his back begin to flex and move and push and his scales explode outwards across his back, revealing a large brain-like entity. Um, it might be considered um, huge even. It has many writhing tentacles that begin to kind of pull itself out as it does other parts of Amu's insides begin to seep out, almost moving of their own accord as they begin to amass into forms of flesh, bone, mouth, and teeth. Horrors, truly. And I'm going to need uh, all of you to go ahead and roll for initiative again. Because we're going straight in. <laughs> I guess I will run Resire uh, after I find him. Where are you, Resire? There you are. All right. Let's get this. Initiative. Boom. For Resire. Not so good. The rest of us. Okay, we are in. All right. So, hold on, I go fast. And those almost done. Everything's in place now. We're all good. Um, as this thing rips open, all of you are engrossed in the, appear the new appearance of some eldritch abominations, almost like parasites, wriggling their way out of the massive former regal dragon corpse. And uh, to put this in perspective, the brain-like creature is... Um, somewhere around like 15 16 feet kind of tall um and it's just completely it looked like it was taking up a big section of like his back like a hump and it just has ripped its way free and it's kind of hovering a little bit um above the corpse its tentacles acting as like strange legs uh in addition to that the unspeakable horrors appear to be made from various parts of oozing organs that have been kind of given like semblance of form and shape um you're not sure if this is a natural creature or if this is a product of some kind of um horrible eldritch magic it's an unsure to uh see how that's going to work out for you but regardless everything is upon us and first in initiative is going to be tristan varel Ooh. Uh, how far away? Um, relatively close. You weren't too... I'm, I'm assuming you guys were regathering as Amu was dying. So we'll we'll probably give you 60 feet, Trist. Right. I will... 
attempt a level four fiery chromatic orb. Against which creature? The biggest one. The biggest ones are actually the abominable, unspeakable horrors of oozing organs. Yes, they we'll are do that. much larger than the brain itself. Okay, I'll do the brain then. The brain. Going for the brain. Yeah, I'll go for the brain. All right, give me an attack roll then. Attack roll. Nah, I'm going to have to re roll that. Reaction. <laughs> Reaction. <laughs> All right. How many of those do you get? Uh, I'm looking right now. I don't know if I used it. Uh, I have not used it, so I get two. Okay. Two per long rest. Uh, try it again one more time. That's much better. That's 27. That is going to hit. And it will be uh, only 17 fire damage. 17 points of fire damage. Lick into the large brain as it kind of like um, shuffles back away. There's almost like a quivering, almost hissing noise that all of you hear, but don't you can't see a source of like a, a mouth or anything like that. You kind of hear it in your minds as there's like this high pitched screech. And I guess that's going to be it for Trist. That's it. That will move us to um, Velvet. They'll rage. Velry will rage once again. And what are you really? gonna do? Okay. I'm attacking. You're attacking. Attack what are you attacking? The clock the the the, the thing. Okay. There's a lot of Hello? smaller minions. Oh no, I was going for the big one. And there's the big brain. Yeah. You're trying is, to is, go Yeah, for the, for the brain. brain. Yeah. Alright. So. You, if you're <laughs> lunging towards the brain. He will use his re relax or his reaction oh. to mind blast you as you close in. I will need you to make an intelligence saving throw. Damn. Okay. It's not gonna be good. DC is twenty. I didn't make it. I'm gonna use a lucky. <laughs> no, you did not. <laughs> okay. I don't know if you can make it. Oh, that's true. I would have to roll a natural twenty. Well, you can. You could always try. The odds are not in my favor. I will try one time and see what okay. happens. I was so close, but I did not make it. Mm. Jasmine. As you, as it uses its reaction to um, utilizing one of its legendary reactions to mind blast you as you close in. Ah. <laughs> you have resistance to psychic damage. You do have resistance to psychic damage, which is good. So you're going to take, it should have been 40 points of psychic damage, but it's reduced to 20. Yes. However, you are stunned for one minute. Yeah. So you're immediately stunned as you close in and you just kind of begin to, you just kind of flop on the ground mid leap. That's cool. Just. And that's going to be it for Valerie's turn <laughs> because she can't do anything else. Ah, uh, that will bring me to Zoom. It's your turn. Oh boy. Um, and this thing isn't floating. It's using these other body parts to hold itself up. It's, it's using like its tentacles right now to like hold itself above the corpse. The other ooze pieces have come out before it and are moving to intercept the rest of you. Okay, but this thing isn't like flying. It's shambling no. across the ground. Doesn't appear to be flying. Okay, I would like to use reverse gravity, assuming she dropped before she got to it. Okay. Right? Did right, Hillary right. drop before she... Okay, You're just making sure. You're to use reverse gravity on the corpse. All of it. And all of it? Okay. All right, what is the save? A uh, dex of 20. Ooh, that's going to be tough. The brain fails. 
What about the uh, what about the unspeakable horrors? That's one fail. That's a second fail. And they all failed. Okay. Then they are now a hundred feet in the air, and I'm going to pray they don't spray horrible shit on us. So I am going to can I drag Valerie away from this? Uh, move, and then well, yeah, I would say it would probably be your action to cast a spell. Um, right. So you could move to her, but um, you're not going to be able to drag her away with uh, without using like an action to right. grab her. Crap. And you do have your bonus action though. How far away from me is she? Um, I'm assuming she didn't get very far. You probably just kind of shuffle okay. up to her. Okay, then I'm. It's gonna suck, but I'll shuffle up to her. Hmm. I'm going to shuffle up to her, and um, I don't think I have anything I could bonus action help her with at this time, but okay. I will be... Actually, you know what? Rogar hasn't gone yet, right? Uh, no. Then I'm going to back up and try to get out of the way, and I'm going to yell for Rogar to drag Velry out of whatever spraying range crazy shit this thing probably has, since we've already experienced that with the dragon. Okay. So, booking it the other direction. Okay. The, um... Alright, as a... As two legendary actions, the brain, the abominable brain, is going to um, look at you, and you're within 120 feet of it, and it is going to break your concentration on the gravity spell. There is no roll. It just happens. So it falls 100 feet? It will be falling. Or you think it would be falling. Damn it. Um, okay. <laughs> you will take a whole two points of psychic damage. Or Damn it. one point. And one point. as it begins to fall, um, it will use its reaction to cast Featherfall on all of its compatriots. Can I counterspell that? You are well out of range of counterspell. It's 100 feet in the air. Oh, shit. Oh, you're right. <laughs> Damn, you it. It Damn it. Damn it. You're right. So, All right. So All right. the brain is going to float down using its psychic abilities um, to, to infuse magical yes. spellcraft and the body of Amu with these kind of oozing the abominable organs begins to slowly float down gracefully to the ground as they come to rest. That is so disgusting. Thank it you not, for that. I know, it is. And that was just its um, its legendary actions. It's actually now the unspeakable horror's turn. And they are going to thrust forward. Three of them are going to rip free of Amu's corpse. And the amalgamation of blood, organs, and viscera is charging forward. The first one is going to uh, make a beeline towards Velry and Zoom. Let's see what it's going to do here. It is going to... Try to use, yeah, it's going to use its bile, the bile hex across the two of you. So I need both of you to make a, dick. well, Valerie's going to automatically fail a dexterity save, but Zoom, you can make a dexterity saving throw. Seventeen? Seventeen is a success, so you will take half. Um, Valerie, you'll take 22 points of acid damage. Zune, you will take 11 points of acid damage. Um, and... Yeah. Uh, Valerie is covered in bile. Acidic bile. And it is going to continue to eat at her until someone scrapes it or washes it off of her. All right, and then as its second attack, it is going to try to reach out with its uh, grasping tentacle towards Zoon. Right, and 
is a site. A 19 hit zoom. That meets my armor class. I'm 19. It's going to be a glancing blow then. You're going to take... Would have been 23 points reduced to um, 11. 11 points of bludgeoning damage. And you are uh, grappled. Great. The second horror is going to charge towards none other than Lord Amu himself. And it is going to... Um, let's see here. Let me roll for this. Some randomness to this. I like it. Uh, oh, damn it. This is too easy for you. Um, it's, it's shape... Uh, begins to break and move his bones kind of like splinter together and it makes a strange eldritch symbol and I will need you to make a constitution saving throw Rogar uh, easily passed <laughs> you will take half damage of this uh, would have been 40 points of necrotic damage reduced to 20 so it'll take 20 points of necrotic damage from the uh, Hex. Uh, the Hex Blast. And then it is going to lash out with its Bone Blade. And this actually gets crits on 19s. So that is going to be a critical hit, unfortunately. And that is a, um, so total, that would be a 27 to hit. Which I'm, I'm assuming it's got a hit. Uh, the bad part is, when this thing gets a critical hit, it triples its damage. So I'll go ahead and roll this. And then triple it. So Rogar, you're going to take 90 points of slashing damage. <laughs> Thank God you were. Oh, you're not raging yet. Oh shit! So you just take ninety points of slashing damage. <laughs> As least, it's been less than a minute. Uh, um, for our last rage. I mean, I feel like you're gonna have to re-rage. That's what I'm feeling. That's fine. Right nah, I just did that. As a, a scything lamb slashes across your chest, Rogar, burying itself deep. You. Ah. The final horror is going to move towards both Resire and our Lord and Savior, Tristan Farrell. Alright, um, let's roll to see what we get. Okay. Um, I need... I need Trist and Resire to make constitution saves. Resire gets an 8. Trist gets a 13. <laughs> I think you're both going to fail. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. So that can be good. Um, you're both going to take 15 points of necrotic damage as it's as the limb, the, the writhing organs shoot out the mass before it and they form into an eldritch symbol once again. However, this one, there is a burst of almost necrotic energy that emanates from it. And when it engulfs Trist and Resire, the their skin begins to toughen as it begins to harden and you are both considered restrained. And... Um, you will have to repeat the save at the end of your next turn. On a success, the effect ends. On a failure, you are petrified. Um, Rosire takes half because he is resistant, so he will only take seven. The Beholder in this battle? Oh, I forgot about our Beholder friend. Please. Why don't you give me a constitution save for, for that guy, Trist? He's a 
plus four. Mm-hmm. So he would have a fifteen. Fifteen. Um, he, I think that's a pass. That is a success. So he doesn't. He actually doesn't take any damage. So while you're turning the stone, gri- gripping the eye stalks of your your companion, Trist, it's kind of, I don't want to mess on. And, uh, yeah. That'll bring us to Resire, who's uh, not feeling so hot right now. Oh, no, the, oh, the, uh, the creature had one more attack. I can't forget about that. Had one more attack. Um, okay. This is a worse one, I think. It is. Um, I need both you and Resire and your Beholder friend to make a Wisdom saving throw. Wisdom for me. The 21. Resire got a 20. You got a 21. How about our Beholder friend? He gets a plus 7 to his uh, Wisdom. Oh, not very good. Uh, he would have had a 10. Oh, I rolled that twice. He had a 10. He had a 10? Okay. Yeah. Um, Wait, was it a 10 or an 11? Uh, what was the first roll? A 4. A 7. Yeah, so it would have been 11. That makes a difference. Because <laughs> he fails, but if you fail by 5, something horrible happens. Uh, by oh, 5 okay. or more. And so he he fails, but he doesn't, um, you know, he doesn't take the, the full effect. Uh, as the re- a reality see- stealing hex is unleashed upon you, um, your beholder friend will take thirty one points of psychic damage, which he is currently resistant because of Zoom. Oh, all right, so he'll take uh, fifteen, um, and he is considered deafened. I mean, he can. Just speak and listen to you telepathically if you can speak to him but uh <clears throat> yeah all right now it's resire's turn um what is resire gonna do he's got a lot of uh a lot of things here however seeing what is happening to both him and trist Let's see here. What can we do? Um, is it fourth level? Does he not have this selected? Well, guys, uh, what I had in mind, I'm pretty sure he doesn't have prepared. So that's going to be off the board. Yeah. Uh, he does have this. What does this do? Mm. Not a disease, so he wasn't going to work. He doesn't have it prepared. Fantastic. All right. Um... He's just going to have to go on the offensive then, because uh, it's not looking good. He is going to cast Spirit Guardians at 5th level. And he is going to uh, cry out and run towards the amassing horrors, trying to catch them all in his um, 15-foot radius. They kind of like... Kind of like shy away from the radiant light. They each have to make wisdom saves. And they can take this or half. Alright, my horrors. Make your wisdom saves. That's a pass. Wow. Another success. one failure. So one of them is going to take 30 points of radiance. The other ones are going to take 15.
And um, that's going to be it for Rosire's turn. It is now the brain. The Eldritch brain is going to... Hmm. I'm going to see if it gets it back. It does not. Because it does not get that, it is going to just use... doesn't want to get close to you. Can't do this, though. I am going to need... Um, I'm going to need... Your Beholder. Trist. Beholder? To make a, a Wisdom Saving Throw. Save. The DC is 18. That's a D20. Uh, it'll be an 18. Oh, you lucky bastard. <laughs> as, as the brain, um, it's, it, it begins to focus on uh, the enslaved. And as it does, you watch uh, as Trist, his, some of his some of his eye stalks begin to kind of like quiver and move and you see them beginning to point themselves at everyone in the party um and then it snaps back no no and uh he is not dominated by the elder brain and that'll bring me to um rogar son of amu impaled by a bone limb I like rage. Yeah, uh, bonus action. Let's see what. Just my eat. bonuses. The Valerie and um, do attack. Uh, zoom. 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 Okay. And um. I would like to try to get as many creatures as I can within range of my potent breath. Okay. Sixty foot range. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, if I can. And I would like to do that. To roll me D four, Rogar. D four. Yeah. Let's see how many you get in this blast. Okay. One. That's not good, Rogar. That's that's in fact bad. Well, I'm doing it. If I can only get one. Who, 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 which one are you picking then, Rogar? As they've closed uh, in on you. I guess the biggest one. I don't know, or the weakest one. Whichever, whichever one looks most vulnerable. I guess. Okay. So that makes sense. Give <clears> me. <throat> uh, I have to make a deck save, right? Yes, a deck save of twenty. It's not looking good. That is a fail. I'll take 66 points of damage. Um, Rokar, the unspeakable horror that had pierced you, you kind of at rage, open up your mouth in just a cascade of ice and um, and raw power emanates from your mouth. As it does, the horror is just shredded, almost like a shotgun blast. Explodes outward, falls away from you, and is dead. Alright. Um, I will like to then use my movement to, um, you said there, how many, how many minions are facing to, here? There, there appears to be two more of the, uh, unspeakable Uzi organ, uh, creatures. And then of okay. course there is the Eldritch brain that is, um, lording itself on top of the corpse of Avo. Okay. Um, and Tristan has how many around him and how many does Zoom have? There's one. There? Um, attacking Tristan Resire. Uh, Zoom also has one. There's one attacking Valerie and Zoom. Okay. Okay, so there's one more kind of free roaming around. No, you killed the third one. Oh, okay. That's four. Okay. Uh, well, then, yeah. Um, I will. Um... 
I'll make my way to the Well Yeah. The desire is next to the trip. So I'll make my way to Zeus and Stellar Stem. Um Ah, you run towards where Valry and Zoon are laying. Or, yeah, well, Valry's laying. Yeah. Loon's standing over him. Yeah, or, and I can damn it, uh, trans put my, if I can put myself in between, I will do so. Okay. That will bring me to the top of the round. What about the beholder? Does he get to shoot his beams, bro? Uh, he will get to shoot his beams. We did, you know, we did, we forgot about it last turn. That's true. Harry, Harry would have forgot about him. Oh wait. When I raged, I didn't do my thing for everyone that made attack rolls, and I gained bonus points. And do you get to do that every time you rage, or is it just once a day? It's every time. Is it every time? I'm probably ninety percent sure. Okay. Yeah. Well, whenever if, you enter your rage, it yeah, says. Yeah, that's fine. So everybody gets um, how many temporary hit points? Well, I get temporary hit points, but everyone that rolled an attack was supposed to deal an extra um, D. I think the I don't think anybody's actually made attack rolls, so that's oh. okay. Not yet, at least. Well, I'm getting some well, hit points. I did, but he's dead. You didn't, you didn't roll an attack roll. It was a save. Don't lie to me. <laughs> that's true. That's true. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. So give yourself temporary hit points, Valerie. And um, we will. I will allow uh, our beholder, the enslaved, to uh, take his turn. Before we right. begin the next round, Trist. Uh, it's a D10, right? It has 10 attack or a 10 to yeah, He has 10 attacks. You can also command him to open his eye if you'd like. Uh, yeah, we'll open the eye on the brain. Okay. And then we'll shoot the, the eye stalks at the other two. All right. Floaties. I, I will also remind you, Trist, that you are beginning to petrify. At the end of your turn, if you don't make your save, you will become a statue. Uh, I have no way of stopping that. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. First, first tentacle. The ten. Which is I really wish this page would stay up. The death ray. The death ray. Uh, um, Shooting I, it at one of the um, unspeakable horrors. Yes, a deck save of 16. Deck save of 16. It's going to be a 20. All right. Silvery barbs. Okay. Silvery barbs. It's a 7 now. Oh, <laughs> it's going right. to be a fail. <laughs> I like to uh, give ten... advantage to Trist. To Trist, okay. 10d10. All right. Go and roll your damage. 450. I think that's the um, Which one would it be attacking? The one with um, Zoon, uh, Rogar, and Velry, or the one with um, you and uh, Rosire? Uh, almost the one with Zoon, Rogar, and Velry is fine. Okay, 50. 50. Yeah, we'll read up. damage. Uh, all right, second one. Mm -hmm. It's a two. Which one? Ray? Paralyzing Ray. Con save. Con save. That's a seven. It's a fail. It is paralyzed for one minute. Paralyzed for one throw. minute. Okay. All right. It's just currently paralyzed. It locks up as it's about to thrash Rogar and Belry and the rest of it. You get one more ring. Um. Right. Nah. Disintegration ray. Um, it would auto hit the one that's paralyzed. All right. Or you could, or you could, uh, you could attack the other one. It would have to make a ah. save though. Now we'll go for the auto hit. Okay. So just gonna roll damage. It automatically fails since it's paralyzed. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, ten d eight. Oh, Lord. Uh, forty-five average. <laughs> it's, it is annihilated. <laughs> As the third disintegration ray after it's par it kind of stock still and just the enslaved ah! as the eye just kind of sweeps across it, cuts it into uh, 
uh, like a disintegration across like the midsection. It splits in half. Its organs begin to just burst, but as they burst, they flake away into disintegrated nothingness. And the corpse kind of falls around all of you. It's oozing, bubbling corpse, uh, almost acidic-like, eating into the uh, ground around you. All right. All right. Uh, uh, is it my turn now? Now it will be your turn, Trist. Okay. You Do are currently turning into stone. It happens at the end of your turn. Yeah, you know, my turn. If you All don't right. figure something out soon. Uh, what does Restrained do? Restrained, you get disadvantage on attacks, and you cannot like m physically move. However, you are riding um, your Beholder friend, so he can move and shift. Um, I am going to Lightning Bolt the Big Brain. All right. Old Lightning Bolt towards the Elder Brain, the Eldritch Brain. Uh, uh, deck save? Deck save. He does get um, advantage. It's going to be a 14. It's a fail. Oh, it fails. All right. Yeah. Not very dexterous. It will be 36 lightning damage. 36 points of lightning damage. <laughs> um, as a uh, legendary action at the end of your turn. He's going to use his um, Psychic Pulse. He's going to target you, Trist. Okay. Oh, no, no. He has to make a link with you first. I have to try to link first. Damn it. Oh. Can't do that yet. I need you to make a, uh, charism a Charisma Saving Throw. I don't want to be linked. Oh, I failed. I have advantage. You do have oh, advantage. I have advantage. Roll one more. Oh, it's a 14. So, bonus action, you are linked. Damn. Oh, no, no, wait, can't do that yet. Oh, Damn it, I fucked this all up. Nothing happens. He can't do any uh, of his stuff yet. Yes. So, just make a, um, uh, what was the save? I think it was. You need to make a constitution save. You need, the DC is 15. You still have your advantage, because technically it wouldn't have been used yet. Okay. Uh, oh, look at that. I rolled a 15. It's a 20. <laughs> you lucky son of a bitch. <laughs> the, uh, the, the paralytic um, nature of your skin beginning to, as you, you send out that last lightning bolt, you, you feel yourself hardening up and you just kind of flex, utilizing some of your temporal strength and um, the cracking subsides and you return to normal. All right. All right. Now, technically, the Beholder gets to go again. All right. Beholder. Ira, coming up. Night. Oh, uh -huh. Enslaved. Right. Petrification Ray. Petrification Ray. Um, I will say this. Um, if his eye is open, looking towards the, towards the Eldritch Brain... Mm -hmm. It's uh, it's eye rays can't attack the creature. Yeah, it's it, it's, it's attacking the little. It can yeah, it can attack the, yeah. the one of the other bags yeah. of organs. Yeah, it's attacking those things. Okay. Uh, deck save. The deck save for the unspeakable horror. Uh, that is going to be a seventeen. A seventeen. It passes. It passes. Next one. What, what even was it? As as a petrification ray. The petrification ray. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Uh, this is the disintegration ray again. I think. Okay. Yes, another disintegration deck ray. Dex oh, save. Boy. Uh, it's a fail. Fail. Ten d eight. I say it's not eight. Oh. Ten d eight. Four. Fifty seven. Fifty seven points. Oh, it's hurt bad. As the uh, another disintegration ray lances through it. Um, the uh, your your companion just cackling with glee <laughs> as the eyes begin to sweep across the battlefield. Um, the last one's a sleep ray. The sleep ray. Wisdom um, what, save. Wisdom save. Now it actually has wisdom saves, but it's not going to matter when it gets a nine. Oh, it's asleep for one minute. 
Uh, well, <laughs> I, it actually can't, can't be sleep. Asleep? It, it cannot go to sleep. sleep. Yeah, it actually okay. can't. I, I just looked at the... Uh, I forget. I realized probably yeah. couldn't. Unfortunately, it's, a, it's not going to go to sleep. Um, right. But you tried. That's it for him. That's it for him. It is going to be um, Valerie's turn. Oh, wait. Valerie is stunned. I'm sorry, Valerie. Uh, I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're just raging. Just like stuck. Just like... Ah, I know. Ah. <laughs> so then it's going to be Zune's turn. Okay. Wait, how long does it last? It lasts for one minute, which is ten rounds. A whole round. Fuck me. Okay. <laughs> Pretty much. You're right. just laying there. So Trist is no longer petrifying. But Trist seems to be okay. It looks like Rosire is the next one that might be getting petrified soon. Okay. And he's in the middle of the mess, though. There's only, there is only one creature. There's only one uh, of the unspeakable horror, like, organ creatures left, and it is the one that is attacking Trist and Rosire. Okay. And the brain. It looks severely hurt. The brain... You're not going to be able to cast spells towards the brain right now because of the anti-magic field produced by uh, Trist's companion. Mm. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's that's fantastic, actually. Then, since I'm no longer being grappled because the thing Mm -hmm. is dead, I would like to touch Valerie. Okay. Um, Where is it? Since I didn't get it away, since I didn't get away from her. Is it lesser restoration? Up. I am. Will lesser restoration be enough? I don't know. Does it do stunned? Do you, can, it has That's, a list of conditions. It might. I don't know that I have lesser. I might just have greater, which I know is going to cure her. Yes, greater is what um, your friend needs to not be petrified here soon. Yeah. <laughs> which he I'm, doesn't have prepared. <laughs> it's fine. So, well, I'm, I'm right I'm next glad to you have it. Yeah. I'm going to touch Valerie and poof, someone get rid of 100 gold pieces worth of oh, Ember. 100, 100 pieces of Ember. Oh. Yeah. But she no, should no Valerie's longer be free. petrified. Yeah, she's, yeah, she should she's be free. up and good to go her next round. Valerie and... immediately, yeah, immediately your muscles stop seizing and you kind of like, oh. Oh. <laughs> full of anger and hate. And mm-hmm. bonus action. Mm-hmm. Trying. Um, oh, shit. Uh, um, I guess healing word. Who looks the most fucked up? Is it Resire? Um, you're not going to be able to use healing word. Because he's in the middle of the used, eye. Well, no, because you used oh, um, a spell a already. Spell. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Then uh, I'm never going to keep that straight. Um, fuck, I can't think of anything else that I can really do. Oh. No, that would consider that an action, playing the loot. So I think that's it for me for now. Okay. For now, that's going to be it for Zoom's turn. Um, At the end of your turn, the it is going to be the remaining horror's turn. The one that's severely destroyed because of what Tristan Varel did to it. Um, it's, it's a little mad. It's a little mad right now. Uh, let's see here. Uh, yes. All right. It's going to try to steal the reality of Trist, uh, the enslaved, and Resire. So I need all of you to make wisdom saving throws. I'll roll for Resire. Desire passes easily because he has a plus 11. Oh, what did you get, Trist? Uh, 20. You pass. What about your friend? Oh, right to his. He will get a another 20. So he has a plus 7. Man, you lucky bastards! If you fail this one, you're blinded, which would have been really good for the Beholder to not be able to use its eye rays. Uh, oh well. Uh, so nothing happens from the reality stealing hex. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's kind of like the form that kind of, the, the like, organ rune that forms Eldridge, like, um, Mark has no effect on you. 
Um, it will, however, lash out with one of its um, horrifying limbs. That is going to be the corrosive pseudopod. Going to try to attack uh, Tristan Vrell because he's um, fucking it up pretty good right now. Uh, it's going to miss with a 10. Swing and a miss towards Tristan Varel. And that's it for its turn. Uh, it's going to be Resire. It's not Resire's turn. The lot's hanging on uh, Resire. Um, cast a spell. Oh, they, they take damage. Yeah. The creature takes damage for um, not leaving Resire's uh, spell radius going to take 23 points of I wish I could take a picture of this uh, it takes 23 points of radiant damage and it has exactly 23 hit points left so it's just like <laughs> so Rosario goes ah! and it just kind of it kind of just like bursts and flames around him he doesn't even have to do anything he looks towards you tr to Trist ah, mon ami we must go in and he begins to run towards the towards the brain. As he does, his spirit guardians just kind of fl flutter away as they pass through the anti-magic cone. He goes, ah! And uh, he can't get to it because it's 60 feet away. But he's doing his best. And now he has to make a, um, a constitution save. And he fails. And when he fails, Rosire turns into a hunk of stone, falls over, face down, ass up, in the dirt before the spewing guts of the dead dragon and uh, the Eldritch Brain on top of it. And that is, that is Rosire's turn. <laughs> oh, I wish he was here to experience it. <laughs> okay, it's uh, it's now gonna be the Eldritch Brain's turn. <laughs> um, seeing that happen, the uh, after the death throes of its horrors, it is going to um, oh gosh, this is not good. This is in fact quite bad. It can't move. It only has it has the movement speed of five feet. <laughs> so it's like it's like trying to run away. It's trying to go down Ambu's corpse. Oh, trying to slither away. <laughs> it's not moving very far though. And uh, it is going to let's. Oh, I can see if it gets it back though. It it gets it back. Thank God. Um, it's trying. It it, it tries to shuffle away. And it prepares itself. Rogar, it's your turn. Hey. Sorry, I'm reading up on it with that magic field. Your sword will cease to be magical yeah. if you run towards it. It'll still hit like a great sword. It just won't. You just won't yeah. get the bonuses. Yeah, I mean, all my stuff will go down now. That is true. <clears throat> all right. I saw the cat appear in your background. Yeah. It's a liar. I see it sitting there, but it's not actually there. It's, <laughs> it's a <true>. ruse. <laughs> Damn it! Um... <laughs> All right, let's see. Um, so the word bad guy really close. Your, um, I will say your your breath attack doesn't count as um yeah, yeah. as magic. So that still um, works. You can charge in towards the old brain. What can it do to you? Nothing. I am going to first Maybe. off use my last potion of superior healing. 
week. Uh, um, which is 40 points? Uh, yes, 40 points. Yeah. And then so, I am going to try to get into a position where I can um, use my breath attack uh, against the brain without getting the magic field. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Or if it's like, if it's slowly scooting. It like is. Of, it's, it's, start, it's trying to it's trying to, to run away the opposite direction of Tristan, his uh, beholder. It can only move five feet. So it goes, okay. it kind of begins to scoot down the body. Um, it's not moving very far, though. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm going to move up yeah. as close as I can to it without getting in the field. Yeah. <clears throat> and going to shoot it with the breath. So he has okay. to make a, a dex save throw, um, I think. Yeah, dex. Of 20. Uh, it fails. No, uh, okay. to no surprise of anyone. 45 points of damage. 45 points of damage. Rocking nice in damage. there. Um, it uh, it screeches once more. In, re- in retaliation, Rogar. Mm-hmm. It's going to use uh, its legendary reaction to mind blast you. Okay. I need you to make an intelligence save we throw. DC is 18. Okay. Eesh. Pretty tough. I uh, make it. 22. <laughs> you fucking make it. Uh huh. Help with my sword. You know, uh, with advantage on intelligence saving throws. Yeah, yeah. You're good. You made it. Uh, and, that, um. That take it does, and you take damage. You take no damage. If you, oh, okay. if you succeed, you take no damage. Nice. And, uh, like a, a psychic blast emanates from it, and you. Oh, for a moment, but then you you manage to keep your uh, your wits about you. All right. Um, that'll be it for Rogar. Ah, that'll bring me to the top of the round. Tristan Varel. Hmm. All right. So there's just the brain left. That is it. The brain is trying to flee. Well, I will use a free action to tell my beholder to close the die. Okay. Yes, master. As he closes his central eye. I will try to hit it with another fourth level lightning bolt. All right. Deck save from the brain, which I don't know. I don't think he can pass your your saves. Uh, an 11. It's going to fail. I'm going to take 29 damage. 29 points of lightning damage. It's there's like singe marks across the brain it, it uh, it's not having a good time right now <sighs> alright um, the eye stalks have to go in now mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I was hoping that would have been it oh it's a 10 that's the death ray I'm pretty sure that's the death ray is it another dex that's or is it con save. dex save dex it's going to be a 14. It almost passed it. It failed. All right. Uh, this is probably going to do it. Hopefully. Maybe. 59. Christian Farrell, how would you and your enslaved beholder like to do this? I think we do it at the same time. I have a lightning bolt and a death ray come out. And uh, hit they, this. they make they, they, they like mingle yeah. together and strike yeah. like the brain. <laughs> yeah. As you're both flying above, kind of floating above. Ah. He says, Yes, master. As the, as the, as the magic intertwines, uh, crossing the streams, uh, gone in just the perfect way. As it strikes the brain, <laughs> one of the lobes just blows off the side of it. As it is, it whimpers in pain and just kind of rolls off the side of Amu's corpse and begins to necrotically eat away. And we are out of combat. That's going to be it. We've survived um, Amu and his parasite. Going to Greater Restoration, um, Resire. You move over to Resire. Kneel down to his ass up statue. Just. 
just sitting there. You let out a sigh and just <laughs> give him a little pat. <laughs> <I think. laughs> give him a little pat. Knock off another hundred ember. As, as yeah. the uh, the stone cracks and then bursts away from him. He goes, ha ha ha! Oh, how did they end up on my face? What a predicament we are in! Where are the enemies? Are they dead? Did they, they flee from mighty Rezaia? Yeah. Indeed. This, uh, this is a great thing, no? So he yeah. sheathes his scimitar, looks wrinkly around. Oh. Do we, uh... Do we have time to rest, or do we need some healing? We all blown to shit. I mean, just... I a little hurt. He's blown to shit. Looking around real quickly, is the body of Hazon still there? You look over. You see that the lower half of Kazon is there, and there is a bloody streak through the frozen ground that goes up to what looks like some kind of open cracked doorway in the side of this vessel. Time to rest. We gotta, we gotta go. <laughs> Just... uh, Rosario does have a uh, prayer healing though. He does. Which would be nice. Yeah. It's like a 10 minute It is break. 10 minutes though. I know, but no, that's good. to you. I, I don't, Unless he's I'm... got a better heal. Or anyone else with a better heal. He already used his big heal. Yeah. Yeah. I think we gotta run in there. I mean, shit. Well, I, I can uh, do something stupid if everyone stays around me for a minute. Just, uh, going over to uh, Amu, the remains of the mm -hmm. exploded mm -hmm. Amu. As you kind of move over there, Rogar, um, you feel a uh, a pull. As you look down at the just destroyed corpse, and suddenly you are racked with icy pain. <sighs> As the gem oh. is begins to pulse with like light, and you feel it kind of float off of your chest as you watch as the flesh and scales of Amu quickly begin to funnel and disintegrate off the bones and just flow into the gem around Rogar's neck within moments there is nothing but a skeleton Does Roger have any experience with this kind of stuff, or does it just change what's this is, happened? Yeah. Okay. Well beyond your normal understanding. Okay. Um, Roger will, if the gym is back on his chest, he'll uh, hold the gym. As you hold it, you feel a predatory presence writhing within. Oh. There doesn't appear to be any verbal reply. Okay. Um, well, we will take a moment and I will find who did this to you. I will find them who desecrated your great being. And I will encase them in ice and shatter them. Ooh. Um, and uh, he's going to go ahead and uh, follow the blood trail. Um, sword in hand. As you all regather together to move towards the open hatchway, which is quite a bit in the air. This is about 100 feet in the air. 
Um, it looks like this vessel is embedded in the in the ice um, at the center of the spire. And as you look up at it, you see that it is uh, that it appears to be some kind of hatchway, some kind of metallic door. None of you have experience with this kind of design of whatever this vessel is. Um, however, there appears to be a name written along the side of the vessel. Written in what appears to be Goblin. What's the name? It says The Twilight's Horizon. And that is where we are going to take our first break. 